Alright, this is Sumel. I come from West Sulawesi and I'm gonna quote Second Timothy chapter 1 to 4. I was hoping that I can come in person but it did not work out. So here is my Second Timothy chapter 1. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God according to the promise of life that is in Christ Jesus. To Timothy, my dear son, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I thank God whom I serve as my forefathers did with a clear conscience. As night and, as night and day I constantly remember you in my prayers, recalling your tears, I long to see you so that I may be filled with joy. I have been reminded of your sincere faith, which first lived in your grandmother Louis and in, and in your mother Eunice. But now I am persuaded that now lives in you also. For this reason, I remind you to fan into flame that the gift of God which in you drew the laying on of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of timidity, but spirit of power, of love, and of self-discipline. So do not ashamed to testify about our Lord, or ashamed of me, his prisoner, but join with me in suffering for the gospel, by the power of God, who has saved us and called us to a holy life, not because of what we have done, but because of his own purpose and grace. This grace was given us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time, but it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who has destroyed death and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. And of this gospel, I was appointed a herald and an apostle and a teacher. That is why I am suffering as I am, yet I am not ashamed because I know whom I believe and I have convinced that he is able to guard what I have entrusted to him for the day. What you heard from me, keep as the pattern of sound teaching with faith and love in Christ Jesus. Guard the good deposit that was entrusted to you. Guard it with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives in us. You know that everyone in the province of Asia has deserted me, including Pygalus and Hermogens. May the Lord show mercy to the host hall of one. May the Lord show mercy to the host hall of one Cyprus, because he often refreshed me, and was not ashamed of my chains. On the contrary, when I was in Rome, he searched hard for me until he found me. May the Lord grant that he will find mercy from the Lord on that day. You know very well in how many ways he helped me in Ephesus. You then, my son. Be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And the, things you, and the things you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses, entrust to reliable men and who will also be qualified to teach others. Endure hardship with us like a good soldier of Christ Jesus. No one serving as a soldier gets involved in civilian affairs. He wants to please his commanding officers. Similarly, if a man competes as an athlete, he does not receive the victor's crown unless he competes according to the rules. The hard-working farmer should be the first to receive a share of the crops. Reflect on what I am saying, for the Lord will give you insight into all this. Remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, descended from David, this is my gospel which I am suffering even to the point of being changed like a criminal, but God's word is not changed. Therefore, I endure everything for sake of the elect, that they too may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. Here is a trustworthy saying, If we die with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we disown him, he will also disown us. If we are faithless, he will remain faithful, for he cannot disown himself. Keep reminding of these things. Keep reminding them of these things. Warm them before God 
run them before God against quarreling about words. It is of no value and only ruins those who listen. Do your best to present yourself to God as one who, as one approved. A workman does not need to be ashamed and correctly handle and correctly handles the word of truth. Avoid godless chatter because those who because those who indulge in it will become more and more ungodly. Their teaching will spread like gangrene. Among them are Hymenus and Pilatus, who have wandered away from the truth. They say that the resurrection has already taken place, and they destroy the faith of some. Nevertheless, God's solid foundation stands firm, sealed with this inscription. The Lord knows those who are His, and everyone who confesses the name of the Lord must turn away for, from wickedness. In a large house, there are articles, not only of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay. Some are for noble purpose and some for ignoble. If a man cleanses himself for, from the latter, he will be an instrument for noble purpose, made holy, useful to the master, prepared to do any good work. Flee the devil, desire of youth, and pursue Righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Don't have anything to do with foolish and stupid arguments, because you know they produce quarrels. And the Lord's servant must not quarrel, instead he must be kind to everyone, able to teach, not resentful. Those who oppose him, he must, be gen he must gently instruct in the hope that God will grant them repentance, leading them to a knowledge of the truth and that they will come to their senses, escape from the trap of the devil who has taken them captive to do his will.